It's a pleasure to have all of you here on our campus. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I've met your presenter and I think that you're in for a real treat today. We're so happy to be able to um, host over 150 educators here over the past two days for our second Effective Professional Practices Conference. Um, it's been an exciting time. We've heard some wonderful feedback from the educators that were able to be involved. We were able to host two workshops. One was geared more towards the novice teacher, the classroom teacher, and it spoke to classroom management, which we know, um, historically speaking, is one of the greatest challenges for a new teacher. And Thankfully, we were hearing from the teachers and the participants that they had some great takeaways to go and create their own highly effective, customized classroom management plan. And we believe that that's going to make all the difference in the world in classrooms throughout the parish and throughout the state as the school year begins for most schools in the next two weeks. Also, we're hosting our educational leaders, our instructional leaders from again throughout the state uh, from several parishes. They were able to come here and learn about the coaching cycle and how to become an instructional coach and also how to lead or supervise an instructional coach so that we're able to support those teachers that may not be so brand new but um, are having some difficulties or challenges in their classroom with coursework and to give them those instructional practices that are necessary and to become that partner in, uh, in partnering up for the success of our students. Uh, some of the things favorite things I've learned about in this presentation are how to structure a classroom and to make your procedures become routine so that academic excellence can happen for the students. I plan on implementing what I've learned here today uh, by going home and creating my own set of procedures and rules for my class and introducing that the first day of, of, of school. That way the students know what they can expect of me and what I can expect out of them. Well, some of the things that I will immediately implement is uh, letting, allowing the teachers to set their own goals. Uh, you know, allow the teachers to set their own goals in many ways. Uh, they're more inclined to, uh, to try to work towards those goals as opposed to someone setting the goals for them. The presentation today and tomorrow goes over the idea of helping educators um, and students learn and change and grow. And it is in particular talking to educational leaders about what it is to help for change and some of the psychology and research behind that as well as Jim's partnership principles, which is basically to ground yourself in uh, equality and voice and choice, and then also to talk about um, what the coaching cycle looks like. So how do you take a teacher through the coaching cycle? How do you set a student goal? How do you know what strategies to use? Uh, how do you observe using video? And also, tomorrow we'll spend quite a bit of time talking about um, 
scenarios, so different, different kind of dilemmas almost that educators can get themselves into and how we avoid those and then we'll also talk about um, real communication skills and the best way to communicate with other educators. All right, thank you for your time. Okay.